This week on Ninja Lab, we're going through the final week of qualifiers for Season 5 of the National Ninja League. Join me, William, as we're going over the results of Build a Machine Fitness, Elite Athletics, Jump Twist Ninja Academy, Ninja City, and Ninja Nation Frisco. It's the final chance for people to qualify for the World Championship, which is this Friday. First, let's go over the results for Build a Machine Fitness. For the adult female division, in third place was Kelsey Masserini. Pictured in the video shown here, she was able to get through some of the earlier obstacles, including the bungee ropes and uh, the balance tank called Rollin' Rollin' Rollin'. Unfortunately, when attempting the big lache of the Devil Step, she was unable to bridge the gap and was taken out at that point of the obstacle. In second place for the adult female division was Ashley Gianni, who was able to get a few obstacles further by completing Parkour Run. And in first place for the females was Rachel Franz, who was able to reach the second to last obstacle before being eliminated. For the adult male division, in third place was Ryan Scott, who was able to complete the whole course in a time of 3 minutes and 14.8 seconds. In second place was Ryan Sanders, who was able to complete the whole course in 3 minutes and 8.16 seconds. And in first place was Aiden Daniels, pictured in the video you see here, who was able to get through a gauntlet of balance obstacles, hang from some nunchucks, make it up the most Japanese warped wall you've ever seen, and make his way up the Tetris board to complete the whole course in a time of 2 minutes and 41.38 seconds. A lightning fast speed for Aiden. The National Ninja League Season 5 World Championship will be held this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Greensboro, North Carolina. Spectator tickets still available. Go to NationalNinja.com for all information. But if you can't get there live to see me and the rest of the Ninja crew, you can watch it live streaming on this very YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to watch and see all the action as it happens. And now we're going to go through the final fast forward segment of the season. For athlete, elite athletics, for the adult female division, in second place was Kara Thurston, who completed the shrinking steps. And in first place was Faith Forrester, who completed the shrinking steps faster, earning her first place. For the adult male division, in third place was Chad Hone, who completed the lobster slide which was uh, close to the end of the course with a time of 2 minutes and 37 seconds. And in second place was Noel Reyes, who completed the same obstacle, but faster with a time of 2 minutes and 25 seconds. And in first place was Brett Strong, who finished the entire course in a time of 2 minutes and 17.64 seconds. Very good performance. For Ninja City, for the adult female division, in third place was Katie Tennant, who completed Brought to You by Wells Cargo. That's a great name. In second place was Stephanie Van Schiak, who completed Don't Peel Off. And in first place was Sophia Oster, who managed to complete the whole course, all 13 obstacles, with a time of 3 minutes and 59.49 seconds. In the adult male division, first pl uh, third place went to Isaac Blackburn, who finished with a time of 1 minute and 22 seconds. In second place was the swan, Ethan Swanson, who completed with a time of 1 minute and 17 seconds. And in first place was Michael Borger, who completed with a time of 1 minute and 9 seconds. For Jump Quit Twist Ninja Academy, in first place for the adult female division was Jimmy Ross, who made it uh, deep into the course, completing the peg bomb. And in 
third place for the adult male division. Uh, third place was Joseph Rosello, who, which was just uh, a few obstacles further than the Peg Bomb by completing the Battering Ram in a time of 3 minutes and 28 seconds. And second place was uh, Curly Rebooks, who completed the Battering Ram with a time of 3 minutes and 24 seconds. And in first place was Caleb Bergstrom, who completed with a t uh, who completed the battering ram with a time of two minutes and sixteen seconds. And now let's look at the final qualifier of the season as we go over the results for Ninja Nation Frisco. For the adult female division, in second place was Sarah Beckman. Sarah was moving pretty fast earlier on, getting through the Big O's and the Jugular, which was this amazing looking slider obstacle. But unfortunately, when making the transfer from put a ring on it to its bar obstacle afterwards, she was unable to bridge the gap and she could not maintain her grip and went down at that part of the obstacle. And in first place was Elizabeth Leslie. Elizabeth was a little bit slower to get through the balance obstacles and barely survived the jugular by just being able to squeeze through that gap. However, she was able to complete the ring deja vu combo called been here before, and allowing her to secure first place and qualify for the world championship in the very last week you can do so. Now, she was uh, doing very well on the stairs afterwards, but unfortunately she couldn't lache to the next obstacle and she was taken out at that point of the course. Woo! <laughs> For the adult male division, in third place with Matthew Day, who was having a pretty good day with his performance, he was able to get through the jugular and complete the entirety of those devil steps, including the transfers. Afterwards, he was able to complete the Mushroom Madness by barely surviving the challenging balance obstacle, but when he was attempting the bar hop, his hands slipped somehow and he fell early on the obstacle, eliminating him at that point. In second place was Elliot Jolivet. Elliot was the first person of the day to complete the Mushroom Madness obstacle, and earlier on he had an amazing squeeze through the jugular, and he was able to complete the bar hop obstacle that Matthew later couldn't. Unfortunately, when attempting the double salmon ladder, he tried releasing early, and he was unable to make the transfer. He probably should have gone higher on the first half of the obstacle. And in first place was Nathan Hansen. Nathan simply looked very smooth on the course, not having any trouble on all the obstacles that were giving people trouble ahead of him. And he was the only person to reach the final obstacle, which was called Cliff Crazy. And my goodness, was it a challenging obstacle. Unfortunately, he was unable to make that transfer, but I don't blame him. It was an insane looking transfer. But the good news is that he finishes in first place and he and El Elliot were able to qualify for the world championship just in the nick of time. Nice. 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 Nice.
very fluid. And I nice catch on the flying squirrel. All you have to do is touch the hand. Top of the cane. Control the fly over. Why is he turning around? Do I got that sweet throw? Before we finish things off now that the season is over i just want to go over the final standings for the season for the adult male and adult female rankings so remember the better your score the better your placement in the run order unless you forgot to uh register uh, soon enough but that's another story <laughs> For the adult female division, in 10th place overall was Mei Ling Huang with a score of 66 points. 8th place tied was Abby Clark and Rachel Franz who both scored 68 points. 7th place went to Casey Rothschild with 69 points. 6th place Alyssa Beard with 71 points. 5th place Rachel DeGutz with 81 points. 4th place Jennifer Stefano with a score of 83 points. 3rd place, Sophia Oyster with 93 points, 2nd place, Rachel Brown with 107 points, and with 143 points, 1st place went to Nikki Perella. She pulled it off, and good golly, that is a lot of points. And finally, for the adult male division, here are your top 10 rankings. In 10th place was Sam O'Brien with 53 points. 9th place was Joe Capo with 54 points. In 8th place was Joseph Meisner with 57 points. In 7th place with Matthew Hall with 60 points. 6th went to Lucas Reale, 63 points. 5th place, Ryan Sanders, 66 points. 4th place, Luke Dillon, 69 points. 3rd place, Nolan LaJoy with 82 points. 2nd place, Chase Brown with 89 points. And 1st place was Judas Licardelio with 117 points. So, here is my comment question of the week. The final one for all of you. Who's winning the National Ninja League? Who's winning Season 5? Who's, who's going to be the adult uh, female winner? Who's going to be adult male divi- uh, winner? Go to nationalninja.com. Look up everyone who qualified. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. Simply put, I want to thank everyone who has watched all these episodes throughout the, the later half of this season. Uh, your comments and your viewership is much appreciated. And I just want to let you all know, please make sure you subscribe to the National Ninja League. Check out full runs from qualifiers. And make sure you watch the National Ninja League World Championship this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 21st through 23rd. Thank you all very much for watching. Now I got to get out of here and pack up and get ready to go to Greensboro. Later.